Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're headed out super early. I spend the morning working on trying to set the focus on our camera so it's working better. I'm still trying to, sh to set the settings on our camera. I shoot in manual, which is why it's so tricky because when you shoot in auto, you don't get as many options. Like everything is so dark and I hate dark videos. Balance on one foot. Balance on one foot. Don't hold on to me. Okay. <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. We're headed someplace fun and we're going to take you guys with us. But that's not one foot again. Where am I? <laughs> I'm your mother. Yeah, I'm, I'm your daughter. You shouldn't push your daughter. Oh, Slipperier. it is a skating rink outside today. Hold on to Holy me. Holy moly. Everything's ice, and unfortunately, our barn is at the bottom of a hill. So pray for us. Pray that the camera gets there. This could be the holiday that I smashed our new camera. <laughs> Don't say it. Woo! That's it, you guys. That is a hill of ice. I don't even know how we're getting up to the top of the hill with the horses. It's literally 10 minutes later and I'm still walking down to the barn. It's kind of slushy more than icy. Right there, like on this snow, this would be perfect for the horses to ride in. I have like dreams of riding Penny in this snow. Watch out the rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. You guys know how like when it's wet out, everything smells worse. It smells like horses. Normally your barn doesn't smell ever things. smell like horses, but when it's wet out, it smells like horses. Yeah. Kind of like with, kind of like with wet dogs. Let's see who comes. Oh. <laughs> like this is so good. This is so good for a pony, for a baby. Oh look at it, I tried to get her to come to me. And she because goes to Sophie can. and Willow too. Oh, and now they all come. Oh, I got no treats. Hold on. I love, I am obsessed with Palominos now. Like I was never before. I've never fallen into that trap of like color and breed. I like a horse that I like. Like Gracie, I loved her because she's just the sweetest girl. Like she's always been the friendliest horse and I like a friendly horse. But now that I see those two Palominos together, I love me a Palomino. Penny, they're so excited to have no blankets on. Willow's over there doing a dance for treats. We are getting ready to go to the barn, to the lesson barn. We're having a lesson today. I'm super excited. We're going with our friends, hopefully. I haven't talked to them this morning, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Penny, Penny, like we need to, I have a plan for us. Tomorrow, I have a plan. What's tomorrow, Saturday? Oh, we have lessons tomorrow too. Wow, it looks like, wait, it looks like something was riding in here. Oh, do you guys see those lines? Those weird tracks? It comes from up there, it's water. <laughs> I got nothing. Oh my goodness, look, she's dirty. You got mud on her face. Anyways, um, I have a plan of the things that we're gonna start training our horses to do. And Chino too, not just the girls. We'll be training, we're gonna be doing a ton of groundwork this winter. I'm excited. Just waiting for <laughs> Christmas to get over with. Hi Penny, hi lover girl. Uh oh. <laughs> She's like, no thank you. Hugging and kissing just you and me. Wow, look at that leg action. 
I'm obsessed with watching her move because she, we've had her for two months now and I'm always wanting to watch and see if I notice any changes because when our vet comes again, I have to explain to him, like he'll ask me if I've noticed changes and I have to notice. I also love a Palomino with a, with a smoky black. I think they complement one another really well. They're going to be best friends. Did They're... she just spin? <laughs> I think she just spun. <laughs> You're not supposed to spin. We are not training her to spin. It's hard on hawks. It can be hard on hawks. It can be, it can be hard on joints. So because she's still a baby, almost one. We are getting ready for, there's still a setting, I can tell. There's a setting still that's not working. When it's dark, it doesn't track me as easily and it's supposed to be the best camera for tracking. Anyway, we are getting ready to go to the other barn now and we're taking two horses. It's exciting. I love watching Gracie's uh, journey into being a lesson pony. Oh, thank you. Uh-oh, that's not good. Give me too many treats. Anyways. Come kiss. Aww, good girl. She good needs girl. a brush. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can I have a kiss? So. Thank you. Okay, I got the So I've been like talking about, I've always known that what we do with our horses is so different. With what we do with our girls is so different. Last night I was reading up about how, about um, reward based training, which is what we do. Positive reinforcement positive reinforcement I guess it's called and we use treats and we've been finding like so much uh, it's brought us so much closer to our horses using positive reinforcement but I've been reading so much on it recently and I love that we chose to do that with our horses and I know it's so controversial to use treats with horses because traditionally trainers feel that it can cause your horse to become pushy or Mom, can you grab my pink lunch real quick? Yep. And I know that it's not for everybody, but holy heck, you guys, it's changing horses. It's changing the lives of horses, and it's, and it's changing how we interact with our horses. Like, it's been phenomenal to me. Like, I can't imagine doing any other kind of training. We first learned of it from a trainer that we worked with a long time ago, and oh, our trainer at the time didn't believe in it. So we kind of didn't go with it, but lately we've been really, like this last year, we dove in so deep into positive reinforcement training. And oh my God, I couldn't, would never go any other way. Yeah. The best. Gracie is the best mom. Penny doesn't hate honey. But... No, Penny does love honey. Every... No, she likes honey, she just doesn't love her. Penny is just a different kind of horse. Do we have all her tack? Uh, I don't know. Her English tack? We need to get it. And we need to throw horses for the girls while we're gone. How do we throw horses for the girls? <laughs> <laughs> we need to throw hay for the horses, for the girls. I'm so confused. <laughs> How do we throw horses? Can't even <laughs> Gracie, get ready to ride. And you better be a good girl this time. Last time you were not a good girl. Yeah, that means trot when she says trot and not canter. Why is my camera not... Uh, yeah, it means I trot. Lunge Gracie before Julia Roger. What? I lunge Gracie before Julia Roger. Yeah, we're gonna lunge her. Last That's time why we I'm didn't. Holding. All right, Chino Bambino, Mr. No Muscle Man. Look, he looks like a thoroughbred now. It sucks so much seeing your big, huge, handsome, muscled horse go down to like zero muscle because you're only riding once a week. It just sucks. But unless we find a barn, but unless we move to a farm that has an indoor. It's just really hard. We love having our horses at home. I miss them when they're not at home and it's easier to manage them when they're at home. So for the foreseeable future, Chino's at home. So this is our life now and this is just how it has to be, but it just still sucks, you know? Like you just work so hard to build them up and muscle them and get them prepared for the season and that will happen again. But it just sucks. Oh, you're coming in? 
Gracie, as she's down there screaming her head off because Gracie left her. Gracie's gone. Help! Chino. Help! Gracie's gone. Chino's gone. Like, I don't understand her dynamics. All right, well, I guess I get it, but still, she has the people that she loves the best in the field with her, and now she's still down there screaming her head off. Wow, the arena has been super. The arena looks so good. Good job, Brandon. Chasing snowflakes as they're falling down And follow Rudolph all across the town Play it with me under the mistletoe While Santa's busy saying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake So this is the first riding lesson that I'm shooting on our new camera Because the last time I uh, forgot the battery at home so this is exciting. All right, we are getting ready. All right, Gracie, be a good girl. Love your pink with Gracie's. Why isn't you letting? Why aren't you letting her do it? That's her too. Oh, <laughs> okay. As long as you're good with it. Did too well that she will ask me to bridle. Okay. I do that with anyone. Yeah, I don't like to bridle either. That's why I took. I don't put a bit on my horse now. If you behave, I will give you extra treats today. That's what I say to every horse. <laughs> you say to every horse? That's funny. I say, if you, if, if you do this good, and you don't be crazy, I'll give you a lot of treats. <laughs> Nobody likes crazy horses. I do. I do. Fancy man. I love the arena. It looks so fluffy. It's like we're the first one since Christmas. But I don't think we are. Are we the first ride since Christmas? No. Oh. Are we the first ride in the dragged arena? Yeah, because I just put Meg's flakes and everything down today. Oh, oh, did you? Well, that makes a huge difference. Yeah, totally. So he put down Meg flakes, and that soaks up water, right? Dries it out? Yeah, it looks so nice. All right, everybody's recording. Everybody's recording how they get off the off their horse. All right, Gabby, show them how do you get off your horse. How do you get off? All right, you ready? You ready for it? Yeah, she does it different than everybody I know. <laughs> yeah, she's got good knees. Maybe that's why your knees hurt. No, I hit them off standard concrete in the middle. Oh, <laughs> that's why they hurt. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot. Well, it used to. Yeah, that was they're a good lesson. Concrete, they're just wood. Yeah, these don't hurt your knees. <laughs> <laughs> She's trick riding off of Gracie. And hide at every friendly face. And later we warm up by the fireplace. Honestly, best pony award goes to Gracie Girl, and she's just the cutest little thing. Like, you know, I should trust myself when trying to buy a horse. I always let other people choose for me, and when I choose myself, we always get like the best horse. Like, Penny is the best horse for me, and Gracie is such a good little horse. it safe and sound the roads were good the driveways were icy every driveway was kind of icy and scary but we made it the horses all did great Gracie honestly I think like I think she's 
perfect. I think she's perfect and I love Julia on her. I told Julia I would love if she showed her this year. If she worked like together. I, watching them was so mesmerizing because you could see that they didn't understand each other at the beginning of the lesson and as the lesson, lesson progressed, you could really see Gracie trying to figure out Julia and Julia listening to Brandon and figuring out Gracie. It was so beautiful. Like watching that lesson was amazing. Hopefully you guys will get to see it on the Barn Boots and Country Roots YouTube channel. But it was so much fun. I loved watching her. I, love, I feel so proud of her. Chino seemed really in good spirits and seemed to be doing really well. Uh, we have some things that we're changing with him soon. Some things that we're working with our vet on to make him better than ever this year. The only obstacle we have right now, like the big obstacle that we have is that we don't have a place to ride him in the winter and that is the part that is the reason why we've always boarded did you feel gracie did good i loved her do you did you like taking her yeah do you like watching her do you feel like a proud mom yeah i know i do too don't you know that you're beautiful